journey. Woo! Slate. Roll sound. X. That was perfect. I need a boom operator. Camera B is rolling. Okay, cut. Cut. Well cut. done. just a tad bit different in that I gave them, we gave them a theme, which was your destination determines your preparation. And so we looked at three journeys that people, that these kids would take, you know, one would be their dream vacation, one would be their journey to their careers, one would be their day to day, um, going, you know, from the beginning of the day to the end of the day and look at these journeys. I'm going to listen really closely and kind of like making things in shorthand or writing things out completely about what you're saying so I can kind of construct it into what we call a narrative. And a narrative is just another way of saying just, you know, what a storyline is. So like every time like someone gets up or a pair of people or three people get up and improvise, the exchange between them, trying to capture what you're actually saying and then also the energy of what you're all saying too. Okay, so it's kind of like a dual thing I'm doing. So, um, so just kind of look at me as kind of like a reporter in some ways. It's like, you all are the news, I'm documenting the news, and I'm going to turn that, that news into a, an article called a screenplay. Alligators in the middle of the jungles, and they're shooting, and they go alligator hunting. You guys are out there lost. Action. Look at that! Imagine the details. It's like when you were eating the Chinese food. Was it rice? What was in the rice? Were there shrimp in the rice? Were there chicken? It's just like details. Like that's, you know, getting your imagination working, you know, with the details. And then from there you can build it out. Her earrings, which need to. I mean, take the earring off. Take the earring off. This is going to save my life. What are you passionate about? What do you love? What's, what's, so where do you want to go? If there hasn't been a vacation you've taken yet, where do you want to go? I mean, ever since I was little girl, I've always dreamed of going to Hawaii. It was in Hawaii, seeing what they do, and how it's different from Nashville. I want to go to Kenya because my people live in Kenya, and that's my country. My dream of vacation was going to Germany, and it seems like a cool place to go to. Really, I want to go everywhere, the culture, see how the people live, how they party. My dream career is to be a lawyer, because I am very, very argumentative. My dream career is to be a fashion designer. Um, I want to be an inventor. Success is if you put your mind to it, you can succeed even though you have bumpy roads in life, you still going to succeed. Like if I graduated from high school because my brother didn't graduate, my mom didn't graduate, you know, like my sister would be the first person to graduate, but if she doesn't graduate, then I'll be the first person to graduate. Now that looks like success to me. I want to be a um, jet pilot for the United States Air Force. I want to just be a mechanic so my people will be happy. It means to me a better life. You're getting money. Pediatrician. Yeah. I love working with children. I love kids. Yeah, making me smile. Like when people they say they can't do something and then they really try it and then they succeed. Success means being someone that people can look at and be happy to see. It's like to achieve your goals and achieve what you want to do and make sure that you get to that goal without anybody breaking you. To be a nurse because I like helping people. It showed me what I was going to actually do to like when I was uh, doing my nursing scene. Like what, how I was going to actually do what I was going to do in case a person came into my, you know, came into the hospital room. I mean, hospital, nursing room. Listen, I'm not going to tell you again. 
I have a degree. You don't. Success means to succeed in life. To be the best, do the best, become better than what you are. What does success look like? Me. imbalance. There are people that are really giving of themselves, really speaking up, really contributing. There's some people kind of sitting on the sidelines, you know, and you guys know who you are. And so this is going to give you a chance, the ones that really step up and that have stepped up, you have nothing to worry about. We just want to open the door for people that have kind of been standing on the background and not really participating and giving them a chance. If they don't step up, then you got it. Nikki's mother and stepdaddy enter. Her mother speaks to her sweetly and her stepdaddy talks to her in an angry tone. Haven't I told you the kitchen is for Eve and not Ryan? You guys two are done. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing when you get home from school? I'm going to try home before work. You better. Now finish your breakfast. I want to try this two ways because I want everybody to see it. I want to try Abdi as Abdi in that first scene, the first time. And then I want to try Habiba as that role. And I want um, for you both times, I'd like you to um, do the game number, TT. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have to throw up the game members. Use your hard side. Use <laughs> <laughs> your hard side. <laughs> I, I don't like school. Bad people teach me. They make fun of the way, I, the way I talk and of my country. Habiba goes outside. Exterior, Habiba's house morning. Habiba's confronted by a local game member. Hey, good. When you think you're going, you got my money? What money? I don't want for you. Yeah, you do. I want to be nice. Shit, I'm at, I don't have a dollar. The game member steps on to people who wants to go to the bus stop. The game member chases her. song we also chosen amongst those that are going to be involved in that scene is a song called Sacrifice by Damien Horn, who's a wonderful local artist here who's about to blow up. I'm just here because I want to support y'all. I, I really believe in following your dreams. If you got a dream for anything, whatever you, you, you want to achieve, you want to do, it's possible. You know, it's, it's about envisioning that first and it puts some steps into action and it moving forward regardless of what anybody says around you. They should take a journey because it can teach you new cultures, you can learn different things, depending on where you're going. If you want to go somewhere, and you have a plan to go somewhere, just do it. Take people who need something to them with you. Have fun. Just have fun. Make sure you have some fun. Be safe. And thanks, Mark. Just do whatever it takes. Go on your journey, I think. You should set a goal that you can accomplish. And I think you should put your head on right because if you don't, then it's gonna mess you up. Don't let nobody get in your way. You should just strive for the best. All right, here we go. Camera B has spin. 30, scene, seven, take two. Action. All right, camera I'm here to help them achieve their vision. And so, you know, that's why I said this morning, I told them all that we're all in this together. It's not me telling you guys what to do. It's you guys, you know, telling me what you want and having me help you achieve what you really want. Do my thing, I'm anxious. 
most exciting thing about today is I get to meet new people and we're actually shooting the movie. It took so long. Yeah. It's about fulfilling our dreams. So, like, because as we were doing it at the center, everybody was like playing and laughing and stuff. It wasn't taking it really seriously. Okay. And it's like, yeah, it's way different than what I thought it was going to be. But when the lights come on, yeah. people yeah. seem to take it seriously. Cool. It's just like a little bit better than what I expected. To learn how to do all the technique. Do you feel privileged to be able to get a chance to do this? Yeah. Yeah? Have you uh, bragged to some of your fellow uh, classmates at school? Yeah. yeah. They they told me that um, man, so you is gonna be in the movie. And I said, yeah, you shoot me someday. business, so if they keep their eyes open. Uh, I'm trying to throw the kids on as much as possible, you know, let them kind of listen, and I'm asking them if it's good, they're like, I don't know, I'm like, no, you got to tell me, is it good or not? So I'm kind of letting them be a judgment call on that. Nice. amount of work, I can make my idea appear on screen. We're allowing children to express themselves and to really explore a different area in which we don't deal with filming at the foundation. So this is really something in the acting aspect. A lot of the children have write the script. Uh, they acted in the script, even though they may not have gotten the part that they actually introduced uh, when they first started writing the script. And 
It really has helped them explore. Maybe this is a different avenue I may want to take when I get uh, finished high school. Also, it introduces them to more successful people. I think teamwork is like exactly what you get from this. This no one person can do this alone. If I see some future uh, Beyonces. Well, it's played by Andy, and it's all sacrifices about like making sacrifices for things like love, people, you know, stuff like that. Is this your favorite part of the movie? Yes, because I love to say. Is it a moment to shine? It's your moment to shine. It's got to be great. Okay, and sound's coming at you. If I say you mean the world to me, that I'll do anything for you. But if that was really true, what would I be willing to do? Like when the money is getting tight out. Ask the boss for some more time And when we argue for some fight I'll stop and let you speak your mind this kind of situation, giving them the confidence they need in the classroom to ask questions, to get involved with extracurricular activities in their school. They, they seem to, to exude the spirit of, there is something I can do in this world, and this experience has shown me some other things that I can do in this world. We're really stressing that this is not fast food, this is not um, or not just this, but anything you take on to master, to master a craft, and develop a craft, to achieve excellence at any craft, it takes practice. And so I think today, you know, the first day of production, um, certainly proved that, that they understood watching, you know, the professionals, you guys, the camera, the sound, you know, this requires excellence, you know, this re requires you know, it's precision, you know, especially the guys that have been working with Matt in the sound department, you have to, you know, mm -hmm. recording the takes, you know, um, same thing with camera being on your mark, the lighting, you know, so they're getting to understand the excellence, you know, the idea of the notion of excellence that you just, it just doesn't fall out of the sky. Well, what I love is that uh, they've been really proactive in trying to get, you know, like, with the audio and the, and the, and the um, the slate and the ADing and that sort of thing, so hopefully that, you know, they're taking away the, like the whole purpose of this is that it's easy. The cameras are little, you know, there's nothing to be scared of, and this is, you know, this is kind of another tool that they have to help make presence. We got a lot to do today, so quiet and let's do it. Roll the sound. Okay, so roll sound, please. Sound is rolling. Slate. <coughs> so, so open it up. Okay, ho, ho, whoa, 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 come back, come back, come back. Stand right there, open it up. You gotta make sure the camera, both of these camera guys see it, okay? Okay. Okay, so hold it right there. All right, now call it. Boom has got to make sure that you hear her. Okay, go ahead, call it. Hello, Grandpa. Alright, back to turn around, go again, go again. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, so don't go any lower than that. Slate. Slate's in, hold it. Okay, now call it. 14 Well done. Action. Hey kids, welcome to Abby Come sit with me. One take wonder, baby. Got done! It. Well done. Got the couch. All right, so now let's sit you down. <laughs> and you're excited to tell them about America. Right? He's like, you've only ever heard of what he's doing in Yeah. Yes. A little more enthusiasm. Yeah. 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 At some point in time, kids have to see that there are so many other options of things to do. What they can do, what they can do in film. I want kids to know, hey, you can come from anywhere 
and managed to do this. You just gotta have a passion for it. I think the kids are grasping a lot of things that they just didn't realize you could do. Well, I, I improve on helping. I help in a lot because last year I was in school. You're just I helped, watching it. Like, I did like the little uh, slate. Slate and I helped with the cameras. But now this year I'm going to props and helping out with the room and you know, just helping everybody out. I like playing a part in the part I was playing because it's got me doing another part that's not really me. I just have to ask somebody else. Journey, scene, 15, apple, take two. Okay, wait for them to set. Get it set. Be set. Hey! Smells like a cracker down. What is this? Smells like something. We need them. Because the thing is, it just looks like you could totally catch it. It just looks fake. It looks like you'd just be like, boom, come here. But, uh. <laughs> You gotta look kind of old and kind of ripped, like when you stand up even, you're a little rippy, you know? And, and you should be urgent too. You're trying to like tell your mom you like that some serious <laughs> junk is going on in this house. Take and a picture here. here. And that's what, that Excuse also me. burns you. It's like, you know, did anybody give a crap? And, that's, and so you need to stomp out too. You're, you're angry. Okay. Um, yeah. It's my favorite project. Most amazing things happen the unexpected, far more than I ever dreamed could happen, but I do believe that the power of the creative process changes lives, and I get to experience and see that every year through this project. What happens is the kids say, wow, if I can do this, then I can do that in my life. So it really gives them a sense of self-worth and accomplishment that maybe some of them have never experienced. And scene. Nice. And scene. <laughs> But I will say this, I was blown away by the acting skills that they brought when they got serious and because, I, because you know, the first time around they would just kind of go blah blah blah, just kind of get through their lines and then if I challenged them and said, okay, how does that make you feel or like show me some like real emotion, like this is really happening, they, they would, you know, dig deep and the next take I'd be like, Oh, and I'd be like almost crying, you know, like, okay guys, that's a cut, that's amazing. So, uh, so they, they've changed me because I've seen, I've seen us work with almost nothing. We had barely any lights, we had no real money, we're not using the most expensive equipment in the world, and I think we just turned their script, their creative ideas into this thing, and I think it's going to be a beautiful film, and I think people are going to be blown away by it. I love composing. Well, I really like never had the opportunity to do this before. So like when Mr. Jonah, Mr. Billy came up to us and was like, would you like to try out? It was kind of like, it's a new experience to try. So like you never know what you're going to see unless you actually do it. So I also want to go into music like in college. So I thought like this would be help me get a jump start on it. It's really difficult to like make a piece for a certain scene because you don't know if you should add music or not add music or just leave it completely silent because depending on the mood that you want to make for the scene. Well, I kind of like, on certain scenes, I kind of play my violin. So like on the movie, you'll hear my violin live. And then other times we just play it on the keyboard and just came up with beats and stuff to help kind of move the movie along. The stick scene because it was kind of like the most intense part of the of the movie because without I guess without that scene there wouldn't really be a meaning for the movie so I, I, I had the honor of doing that scene so kind of making it kind of obvious and kind of scary so yeah it's gonna be awesome. I played on the keyboard and making all the sounds and stuff it was really cool making all the sounds. The Nikki scenes both Nikki scenes it's like really like kind of mellow and really long and it's because of that, it's just, it's really good. It, it kind of inspired me more to have more, um, there's a lot more strings and everything involved, like the music's gonna be a lot better than last time. Like last time, I wrote the theme to it, yeah. And um, mostly, I, like I'm, I'm the main keyboard worker. I'm, like if somebody has an idea, I mostly work the, the synthesizer. I love, I love the ending, 
like when, when they're all dancing at the end with the credits because um I, I did like all the tracks for that part and um it, it's just a really nice groove to it and um there's this there's a scene where um they're they're kind of like imagining they're flying to africa and like while they're on the plane um I, like I, I just did this part and um like I had a really nice group for that. I think the biggest change of this year is we've got two girls that have come on board with us and that's made a difference. It's been great because they, I think they saw the film in a completely different way. A little more on the emotional side. During some scenes where the boys would go, oh, put this in or, you know, explosions or blah, 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 the, the girls are a little bit more on a, a lighter a lighter shade, I suppose to say, of, of the film is trying to make it uh, come across as more of an emotional moment, you know, in certain sections. And it kind of worked out really well because there's a lot of moments that are very uplifting and there's a lot of moments that are very, very somber and serious and I think they caught the, uh, the seriousness of it. One of them said, I don't think this needs music. And I thought, mm, very good, you know. So it, it, I, it, I think it was. I think they caught on as, as, as the pro film progressed. They, they really got the, uh, you know, got the essence of how to, how to make some music in a movie.